ever since we boarded the Sun Princess the other day, we have been thinking about whether or not someone who loves to sail on Princess can sail on the Sun Princess and have just as wonderful a cruise as we are used to having on the smaller ships, on the Royal class ships, as well as people who have never sailed on Princess before, but they choose Princess based on what people are telling them that they loved on their previous cruises on Princess Cruise Line. So I've got the answer for you today and I am really excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And like I said, Gordon and I, so today is March 18th. We boarded the Sun Princess on March 14th. And so it's given us a few days to get the feel of the ship. We honestly have spent a lot less time in the ports that we have visited because we wanted to experience the ship as much as possible. So we have gotten off here and there, but we haven't done any excursions. We privately or with the ship because we wanted, like I said, to have more time on board to see it both when lots of passengers are on board, as well as have time to walk everywhere, see everything and really see what we thought. So starting off, um, I would say that absolutely, I 100% and even more than 100% really do think that if you are someone who loves to go on a princess cruise, you are thoroughly going to enjoy the Sun Princess. That doesn't mean to say that those people who enjoy the smaller ships or those who love the Royal class ships the most, it doesn't mean that this ship is going to replace your very favorite ship or your very favorite class of ship. However, I truly do believe that you should try the Sun Princess. Everyone should try the Sun Princess at least once and see what you think. There are a lot of differences and over the coming days, I'm going to let you know about some of the differences as well as in this video, but uh, change is not always bad. Sometimes things are just different and often I don't know that something becomes one of my favorites until I give it a try. And so the things that really stood out to me as the things that are different and similar on this ship surprised me in a way. Uh, I'll be honest, when I first got on board, everything looked so different. The decor is different, everything from the color schemes that we see an awful lot to where things are located. Some things are in completely different locations than they used to be. And the staterooms, the staterooms are also different than what we have been used to on all of the previous princess ships. And so when you put everything together, you start to think, am I going to even like this? Is it going to give me the same experience? And then as time rolled by and we experienced more of the entertainment, there's just so many different things. So I am very confident though, like I said, I think everyone should give the Sun Princess a try. I do believe that even if you like the small ships, that there is so much to enjoy here on the Sun Princess that you will still have a wonderful time on the cruise that you go on, alrighty? So let's start at the top with what I think has changed the most. Um, just a few things, I've chosen five, <laughs> but um, as we roll forward on the days and I've got so much to tell you, um, it'll be, I want each of you to kind of think about what you enjoy the most when you go on a cruise and how you can apply it and ask the questions in the comments because I read the comments and I will pay extra close attention and list things so that I can talk with you about them because if usually if one person wants to know, a whole lot more people want to know. So the first thing that we noticed, of course, right off is the decor. Uh, we got to our stateroom right off and it is completely different. And yes, um, you know, you look at things and you think, oh, I have a lot less room for the closet area. And you do have less room for the closet area. Uh, one question that I've had emailed to me, I've seen on Facebook groups, what do we do with our luggage then? If we can't put it in all that open space in the closet, just slide it under your bed. That is what we have always done with our luggage. When we get on board this ship, we unpack that first day and then we just slide our luggage under our bed and it stays there until we are ready to pack to go home. So there are workarounds to everything. Now, do I think that it would be hard to pack everything in to go, for example, on a world cruise? I think that would be a little bit tight, but you know what? This ship I don't believe was designed to ever be a ship that would sail a world cruise. So I don't think we need to worry about that. 
I think the longest sailings that she will probably do are the transatlantics um, as she moves between, you know, being in Florida, being in Europe, and then back again. Maybe someday she'll go to Australia. We don't know what's in store for this Sun Princess, but she would be able to handle that beautifully as well. So thinking about that, you just have to learn to do things a little bit differently, but in the end, you end up with enough space to put what you need to put and rearrange. I love that there's a full-length sofa in here. All of the cabins have a full-length sofa, not just a little tiny love seat or just one seat in, this, in the regular balcony cabin, but they all have a full-length sofa. It's amazing, and it's a really nice sofa. It's comfortable to sit on. Um, we have sat on it plenty. Um, it's just really, really nice and a really convenient thing to have in the cabin. Another thing that really stands out to me is the approach to entertainment here on the Sun Princess. It has really changed. Um, and I would say the overall feeling of the ship on the Sun Princess is everything is elevated. Everything from the decor, everything is a little bit more beautiful, a little bit nicer. The entertainment is a little bit um, elevated. The dining is definitely elevated. Uh, just the whole approach to everything. You feel like you're sailing on an extraordinary ship. We've always felt like we've been sailing on a beautiful ship, a grand ship with Princess, but this, she is really something extra special, I think. And so um, that's really, that has stood out to me. Um, in a lot of different ways. So um, anyway, um, let's talk for just a minute about the changes to the entertainment. Right off, I let you know that we don't have that big theater that we're used to having on a princess ship, the princess theater. Now we've got that theater in the round. And instead of seating closer to, you know, 1,000, 1,500 passengers, we're looking at eight or 900 passengers as the most that fit in the theater that they've got the theater in the round. They call it the arena. Now they are still going to be doing production shows. Um, it sounds like they have so many really cool things in store. They are still, and I love this, they've got the space and they are still thinking of more ways that they are going to be using it in the future. And it's really nice that people think, isn't it? Because you don't just do one thing and then stick with that. They've got a lot more in mind. So there are going to be production shows. We're still going to have, um, you know, vocalists come. We'll still have magicians, all of these things. So we've got that arena. The dome. The dome is revolutionizing entertainment on Princess. It is because they're going to have those shows that are more like the Cirque du Soleil. It's going to be a space for a whole lot of other things that we've never had here before. Um, I'm really looking forward. I, Gordon and I are trying to figure out when we can get on another ceiling of the Sun Princess when those shows are going so that we can tell you all about it as well as we really want to get to experience it as well. So there's going to be the entertainment on the dome, in the dome. There are um, also, there is so much more going on in the piazza. There are entertainers in um, the lounges like we're used to. There's crooners. Um, crooners is just off the area there of the piazza. But um, truly entertainment in the piazza is elevated. They, they have even more entertainment than we have seen before. And that whole screen thing is amazing. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about that screen, but it is amazing. It takes whatever is going on there and it takes it up a notch or two or three. It's, it really adds to the whole ambiance. It adds to whatever it is that they're doing. One thing that I really like is they run a lot more entertainment throughout the evening there, even more than we're used to in the piazza and they stay later. So if you have been on a ship and they quit playing the music at 1130 and you're like, we were just getting started here. Um, the other night when we left, it was like 1230 and it was still going. And so um, they are really doing a good job at offering a lot more entertainment. Another thing that really stuck out to me about the entertainment is it's a little bit, um, there's even more variety, I would say. Um, the other evening, <laughs> we were listening to the music and they were playing all of this rock music that so many people are on board remember from uh, when they were in high school and it was just really fun. And there were some people down there trying to dance to it and trying to see how to dance. So in the piazza, they are doing so much more entertainment than we have ever seen before, a larger variety. And um, I think that there is still an awful lot more to come, but even if there's not a lot more to come, what they've got going now is excellent. And it is uh, takes where we have been with Princess and um, it takes it up a notch. And 
it's it's I really enjoyed it on this ship a lot more than I thought. The other big change with the entertainment in the piazza is really kind of goes with what we are what I ta was talking about with the new decor and then things in new places. Um, there is more seating. They've got arena style seating. Gordon says it's bleachers on the different um, the levels above the main level of the piazza. And I wasn't sure about that. So I went and sat in it and watched a show and actually really enjoyed it. Turned out better than I thought. And um, so I would say that when you come on your Sun Princess cruise, give everything a try. Don't just look at it and say, I don't think that's gonna work or that's a bad idea. You know what, sit down, sit down in those chairs, give them a try. And if you don't like it, it's okay, sit somewhere else. But um, I think it's worth giving it a try. So just kind of the whole decor of the piazza has changed as well as leveling up that entertainment. The next thing that really has stuck out to us here on this ship is the dining really and truly is elevated. They have so many different specialty dining restaurants on board. They've got all of the different experiential dinings that are going, that Spellbound is experiential. The Love by Brito, I believe is going to be experiential. The whole um, feeling, it's much more than just sitting down and eating your food. There's a whole experience that goes with it. The chef's table, they've got a chef's table here and that is very much experiential as well. You have an extraordinary dinner but it's that special experience that goes with it as well. They've got the Umai teppanyaki, the Umai hot pot that goes with it. They've got the Kaishu sushi. We've got O'Malley's, we've got Sabatini's, we've got the Crown Grill. We've got uh, the Catch by Rudy, Butcher Block by Dario. You still have Alfredo's. Did I say O'Malley's? We've got that. And in addition to that, there is the reserve dining room and the signature dining room. Reserve dining room is a beautiful dining room and it is only for people in a reserve class mini suite. The signature dining room is only for people in a suite. It's beautiful. The people that I've spoken with, I've had the pleasure of speaking with Let's Go family members who have dined in those restaurants and they say that the food is superb, it's excellent, and the service is amazing. And so all of these options, so many options, and to me, it's like dinner is becoming more of an event. It has always been really special to have dinner on a princess. The wait staff, no matter whether you're in a specialty restaurant or if you're in the main dining room, has always been um, something extra special, I would submit. And um, so really, I think that dinner is becoming even more of an event on a cruise than ever before. And gone are the days when you have to think, oh, I've got to go eat in the main dining room again. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> you have so many options here on this ship. And um, cruising hasn't changed from the standpoint they still take us places, but they take us in a different way. And um, the lovely thing is, is that you can be someone that eats in the buffet. They call it the eatery. You can eat there every night if that's your thing. You can eat in the main dining room every night if that's your thing. Or you can mix it up and go back and forth and throw in some specialty dining if you want. That's the really lovely thing is you get to do it your way. But I would think you should give something a try. I, um, I'm trying to try more new things in my life and I suggest that maybe it's good for all of us. I, I'm learning a little bit more about what I don't like and a lot more about things that I actually do like. So there is so much dining. And then, oh, in addition to that, up on the Lido deck, we don't just have sliced pizza anymore and a grill. If you've got a grill with a salad bar as well, that they'll make the salad for you. You just tell them what you want in your salad. So you've still got that grill with your hamburgers, your hot dogs, all that that you're used to. And then they've got a taco area too. They do tacos and shawarma that is actually really good. Um, so many more options and they've still got the um, coffee and cones area where you're gonna get your desserts or your ice cream. It's, they've got a gelat gelatateria here on board for gelato and so many bars, so many bars that it's not hard to get a drink <laughs> here um, on the Sun Princess and there are so many fun options. They have really made um, getting a drink a lot more fun than it ever was before, I'm gonna submit, okay? And I'm gonna say, I think it's really cool that they have gone out of their way to develop these new 180 cocktails because um, that opens up the world as well. And um, if you, like I, don't drink alcohol, go ask them for some, you know, ask them to make you something and they will. I've been doing that some while we've been on board and it's been delicious. So just wanted to tell you about that. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, will you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button? Subscribe, follow along, talk to us in the comments, let us know what you love about cruising and what your questions are. Also, if you appreciate my updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up? Believe it or not, that makes a really big difference to us and helps us out. So thank you very much. Uh, the next thing that I think is a really big change here on the Sun Princess is truly what they're doing and dining is what they're doing with the main dining room. I mentioned this before, but to me, it's a really big deal. And it's going to be a really big deal on Princess as they roll it out to the other ships. One of the main dining rooms is traditional. You're going to have two seatings. You've got your five and your 730. So if you're someone that loves that, there you go. And they've also got um, a main dining room that you can make a reservation and go when you want or walk up to the door and they'll seat you as they can accommodate you. And then they've got the eighth deck there of the main dining room, the American diner. You can go whenever you want to go. You can wear your shorts if you want to. You don't have to worry about dressing up and you can still go have a nice dinner there. Another thing I have noticed with the eatery or the buffet is I feel like, and I don't know, I want to hear from those of you that have sailed the Sun Princess and those of you as you get to go on the Sun Princess, I don't know quite. I feel like the offerings are fewer. But I don't know if it's just because of the way that it's organized now. You've got a Mediterranean section, an Italian section, an Asian section, and then you've got um, a little section there that offers, um, like I would say, maybe American food. Like tonight it was roast beef and uh, baked potatoes and some vegetables, that kind of thing. But um, anyway, there's plenty, plenty to choose from. So whatever it is that you enjoy, there will be something for you. And the International Cafe is actually, you know, we've talked about, it's one of the things that's been moved to another place, but I believe that a lot of variety is coming back once more to the International Cafe. For a while there, it got really limited and not a whole lot of options, but it looks like the options are coming back again, which makes me really happy. Those of you that are new to Princess, the International Cafe is the place that is open 24 seven. You know, I don't think everything is perfect on this ship, but I also don't think it's perfect on any ship. And I think it's the direction that we're heading is the most important. And the reason that I feel that way is how, because of how much I enjoy cruising. And we have tried lots of cruise lines. We're gonna try more cruise lines. But every time Gordon and I come back to Princess, doesn't mean we think things are perfect. We don't, and I'm not perfect either. So the really important thing to us is we love that Princess is staying true to who Princess is. They are still providing the experience that we really enjoy having. And um, the future is bright. We're gonna get to go on more cruises and when we can afford to go and have time to go, we're going to be able to go somewhere in the world and have a wonderful time on a cruise ship. All of the things, like I said, and, and I'm gonna just say it, it's the crew makes this. You can build a ship, but it really depends on who is sailing the ship, who is taking care of everyone, and Princess's crew is second to none. They are amazing, and I, they have an amazing um, family feeling still within their crew, and um, everyone on board this ship is really happy to be here. They have pulled crew from ships all over the fleet, and they are working well here together. They're happy to be here, and it's a really special experience to get to be part of the Sun Princess. And I hope that, um, I'm really looking forward to hearing from all of you. If you're thinking of going on the Sun Princess, what questions you've got. Um, if you're not thinking of going on the Sun Princess, let us know why you're not thinking of going on the Sun Princess as well. I'm really delighted that we got to be here for them for these five days, and I really do look forward to when we're gonna go again. We've got a lot to think about, don't we? So I'll think about it some more and I'll talk to you about it some more. But I just wanted you to know that you can go on the Sun Princess and have a wonderful cruise. And I will see you all here again tomorrow. And I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you.